بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلاة وسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we begin by praising Allah سبحانه وتعالى for this opportunity for us to continue in our lesson in the aqaid of al-imam al-nasafi and the commentary of al-imam al-taftazani and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and the understanding and may Allah uh, make any this lesson any a reason uh, where our sins and your forgiven and our prayers are answered inshallah ta'ala ameen ya rabbal alameen uh, before any we continue to our lesson any today uh, what I will do any is just I uh, will just any run through so many of the uh, important things any that we have covered so far in these lessons of the commentary of Aqaid Nasafiya. So, uh, Al Imam Al Nasafi, he began any his Aqaid any by speaking any about the causes any of knowledge. So, so far we have uh, covered any the first two causes any of knowledge, as he mentioned. Number one any is pertaining any to the senses. And then and he spoke any about truthful reports. So number one is the Hawas and number two is uh, Al Khabar al Sadiq. And he mentioned any, there are two things uh, pertaining any to Khabar al Sadiq. Number one is the Mutawatirat, yani the message he transmitted any reports. And the other one is Khabar al Rasul al Mu'ayyad bil Mu'ajizat. That is the reports any from prophets and messengers that are aided any with, with miracles. So, this is the uh, uh, exp- uh, the things any, that we have covered any in the past any few lessons. Today, inshallah ta'ala, we will enter into the third uh, causes any of knowledge. Uh, and another thing is that some of you any might ask any why the author any begin any by speaking about causes any of knowledge. Uh, we have not uh, gone any into the discussion any on the tenets any of faith and aqidah. Uh, it is important yeah, to understand uh, on the causes any of knowledge because any this is any the foundation of our understanding. The foundation any of our understanding and belief is to understand any the source any that where any we attain any the where we attain any the knowledge. Uh, so it is important any to uh, understand any the sources and these causes so that any we are able. To appreciate when we enter in, into the chapter of uh, the attributes any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we able any to understand it thoroughly and we can understand many any arguments that uh, contrary any to Islam any when it comes to epistemology or the concept any of knowledge so that is why any the author any mentioned uh, in this uh, introduction to Ilmu Kalam on how any we know what any we know so we are going any into the, any the third uh, category that is al-aql so this is going any to be our lesson today inshallah ta'ala actually we have planned in uh, last week and you know whatsapp group i mentioned any that yeah, we are going any to have our class any on site but because any of the covid any situation this class any again and it has to be has to be any online because i would like any to have uh what you call it the q and any session any with those any who are following any these uh, these classes but it's okay inshallah any we just continue any online one thing any good any about online is that i do not know maybe it's easier for me any to display any the text uh so inshallah ta'ala we pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we make the situation any better inshallah so let us uh, go back into our kitab that is the Commentary of by Al Imam Tartazani. So this is what any he mentioned after what we have uh, mentioned before this. <coughs> so he mentioned as sabab salis the third any cause any of knowledge al aql. It is the it is the intellect. So he said wa amal aklu. So the ones any in brackets any are the words of Al Imam Nasafi. So Imam Nasafi and he mentioned any as for the intellect. So he began by speaking about the definition any of the definition any of the intellect. What is the meaning? What is any the meaning any of? What is the meaning any of al-aql? So he mentioned 
uh, a few any definition. The first any definition that he mentioned wa huwa quwwatun lin nafsi. Yani it is uh, what you call it the uh, yani the strength yani, of uh, the soul or we say the uh, here it is translated any as the faculty any yani, of faculty any yani, of the of the soul. But here basically any yani, what he meant any yani, is uh, something any yani, that uh, is existent any yani, within any yani, ourselves that give us any yani, the ability. That give us any the ability. So he said that wa huwa quwwatun lin nafsi biha tasta'iddu lil ulum. That give us any the ability any yani, to inherit knowledge or to acquire knowledge lil ulumi wal idrakat. Any yani, to acquire any knowledge any yani, and uh, what you call it understand uh, things any yani, around us. So this is any yani, the first any yani, definition. Basically any yani, he mentioned uh, what is any yani, the meaning of of al aql. What is any the meaning any of the intellect? In the in the Quran any there are many verses any that Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, mentioned any about the intellect. For example, Allah says, "Laallakum taqilun inna anzalnahu Quran an Arabian li qawmin yaqilun." Yani we have sent down in the Quran in the Arabic language to a people any who will use any their aql, li qawmin yaqilun. So we are in need any of our intellect need to understand the Quran and to understand the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and our ulama. They, uh, what you call it, bring any the laws. They uh, take any the laws any uh, of the uh, divine sources any of the Quran and the and the Sunnah. They derive any basically derivation any of the laws. Any all this any is by by the intellect. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala speaks any about the importance any of the intellect any for insan, and it is a speciality any of human beings any that they possess that they possess this intellect. So this is any the first any definition. So basically, to to summarize any this definition, the meaning any of al aql any is basically it is uh, what you call it uh, 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 an ability within any ourselves any that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless us with that by it we are able any to understand knowledges and that we are able any to understand things around us. Wa huwa al ma'na bi qawlihim raghizatun. يَتْبَعُهُ هَلْ إِلْمُ بِالْدَرُوِيَاتِ إِنْدَ السَّلَامَةِ الْآلَاتِ So he said that the meaning, uh, the meaning, uh, what is meant any by, uh, by the, 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 the saying that it gives us any disability, uh, that we are able any to understand any knowledges, it is this natural uh, ability any that is present. Natural ability any that is present any in human beings, that he is able any to acquire any knowledge uh, on any things any that are daruriyat, any things any that are necessary uh, in the salamatil alat, yani with the condition any that the other uh, senses any uh, what you call it uh, are working or are functioning, and we are able any to understand. The things any and process any information through any the senses that we see the things any that we hear the things any that we touch so our our intellect any is the is the one any that process any that is the one that process any that information so it is it is dependent any on the senses it is dependent any on on the senses so this is any an extension any of the first introduction. Waqila, and then he mentioned any the second definition of al aql, jawharun. So the second any definition, and he mentioned that the aql any is jawhar, yani it is a substance. Uh, so the first any definition speaks about as an attribute, an attribute within human beings that if, that that human beings and has the ability to comprehend, to understand. The second any definition he mentioned any, it is a substance. So the difference any is basically number one and he speaks any about the attribute the definition and in terms any of the attribute. And number two, any it speaks any uh, the intellect any as a substance that by it any yudra kubihi al ra al bil wasait that we are able any to understand any unseen things by other means we are able any to understand things any of the unseen by other means wal mahsusat bil mushahada and for the things any that are seen that we are able any to understand it any by observation. 
by observation. So we are able then, to process any that information that we get any from our from our senses. So basically, the second definition and it speaks any about uh, basically it's about the same meaning and it? it's just that the difference as what I mentioned. One speaks any about the intellect any as an attribute. The second thing and it speaks any about intellect any as a substance uh, that is able any to understand any the things any that is unseen through uh, yeah, any causes or through uh, intermediaries and likewise able any to understand the things any around us any through observation. So this is basically the definition of the definition any of the intellect. And then any he mentioned. <clears throat> فَهُوَ سَبَبٌ لِلْعِلْمِ أَيْدٌ He said the intellect any, is also a, one of the causes any, of knowledge. The reason any, he mentioned this any, is explained after this. Because any, there are differences by some philosophers. He, he mentioned any, this uh, Indian philosophers. There are some, uh, what you call it, uh, Indian any, philosophers any, who rejected any, some ideas any, that the intellect any, cannot uh, understand the things any, that are based any, on uh, what you call it on Nadariyat. So this is where he mentioned Sarah Habidalika and Imam Tabtazani and he explained why Al Imam Al Nasafi and he mentioned wa huwa sababun lil ilmi aydan that the intellect and is also one of the cause of knowledge because he says Sarah Habidalika lima fihi min min khilaf al malahida wa sumniya. So because any there are differences any amongst any the atheists the malahida those any who reject the existence any of God. And the Sumnia. And Sumnia yani, is uh, a philosophy yani, within the Indian yani, tradition. Fi jami'in So they, they, they say that uh, the intellect yani, is, does not have the ability to comprehend and understand all uh, forms of knowledge that is nadari. That is nadari. That, uh, what you call it, uh, the intellect yani, cannot understand uh, with certainty, knowledge any that is based on on ponderance, knowledge that is based on ponderance. Before this, any we mentioned that there are two types any of knowledge. We have the doruri and nadari. Doruri any is knowledge that you are not in need any to ponder. It is knowledge any that comes close to you. Uh, whereas uh, this, uh, when we speak about uh, knowledge is nadari, it is knowledge any that requires ponderance. So this is the difference any between doguri and nadari. So when we come across any this terminology, doguri, nadari, we understand doguri any is something any that is instant, that you know it any instantly. Any for example any we I always any give you give this example any that the sky is above us, uh, the what you call it the the earth any is below us. This is doguri. You are not in need any to ponder. Uh, upon any yani, the truth any of this statement, but when it comes any to another any for example any mathematical any equation that you are in need any to sit down and think, and to ponder, uh, this is another So the the atheists and the some many philosophers any the the sumnia that is called as the sumnia, uh, they have differences any pertaining to another that knowledge any that uh, that uh, knowledge any on things and that re requires any on ponderings. So he said, وَبَعْضُ الْفَلَاسِفَةِ فِي الْإِلَهِيَاتِ And some any philosophers any on metaphysics, بِنَاءً عَلَى كَسْكَةِ الْإِخْلِطِّلَافِ وَتَنَاقُدِ الْأَرَاءِ So they have differences any amongst any themselves. So they are saying that uh, the intellect any cannot come with certainty on knowledge any that is based any on nadari. And they have differences. They have differences any in, in this. Any, even any, nowadays any people are skeptical any about the ability any of the intellect any uh, towards knowledge that is dogory. Knowledge any that is based any on our senses any for example, people any have this uh, skepticism uh, on existence any for example any when they look any as a, a, at a particular thing, they are skeptical any whether this is in existence any or not any in, not any in existence. Even this is knowledge any that is dogogi, correct or not? Any when we see any a cup any we know it is in existence. This is dogogi. Yeah, we don't need any things. Uh, what do you call it? Time any to ponder any upon this reality. But there are people any who reject this, and they have any differences any amongst any themselves, pertaining any to, uh, does any this, uh, what you call it is is this is this any the reality or not the reality, whether this is the truth or not the truth, so they have any these doubts any, and these differences any amongst them. 
So Ali Imam Tartazani and he mentioned Wal Jawabu. So I said why why people have differences any on on uh, as to whether the intellect can uh, bring any to certainty any on things any that are acquired through observation or acquired any to to ponderance. So he said the differences any because il lifasa di nazar because when they ponder and when they observe their observation the methodology of their observation and is not correct that is why any they have differences any amongst any themselves fala yunafi kaunu nazar is sahih min al aqli mufidan lil ilmi so he said that if a person is a, if a person's any observation and methodology is correct then his observation and he will bring him any towards any certainty على أن ما ذكرتم استدلال بنظر العقل ففيه إثبات ما نفيتم فيتناقض. So he said that the differences any themselves, the differences any themselves is any a result any of ponderance. It's a result any of ponderance. So these people any when they differ any amongst any themselves, all of them any has their own conclusion, their own way any of of ponderance so when they uh, when they reject that the intellect and is unable to lead any to certainty on things any that are nothery that are based any on ponderance they are contradicting any themselves because their conclusion any in saying uh, what you call it that uh, there are differences due to the fact that there are differences any amongst any the philosophers any pertaining any to this uh, this any does not mean that the problem any is the intellect the problem any is in the way on how any they, they ponder and the way any they observe so this also any goes back any to the intellect to the intellect any pertaining any to pondering any upon knowledge any that is that is acquired any through through ponderance that is the knowledge any of notary so to reject any the the fact that the intellect has the ability to come any to a certainty or knowledge any that is based on observation and ponderance this is a contradiction the one any who says this is contradicting himself how does any he contradicting any himself how does he any contradicts any himself because the thing is uh, this uh, what you call it uh, conclusion any that they are making itself any is part any of uh, what you call it uh, using any the intellect any to ponder or to observe so uh, when we are using any the intellect to come any to a certain any conclusion and at the same time any we are rejecting the ability any of the intellect any to do so then this is where the contradiction any comes so al imam taftazani yani he said that at the end any of the day <coughs> he said that the problem any is is not any the intellect. Basically, this is what any is saying. Say al wal jawabu anadalika li fasadin nadar. So he said that the fault any is the way how any you ponder upon things. The way any how any you uh, how you observe. So the fault any is not uh, what you call it uh, the intellect. So if any human beings any use any their intellect correctly with a profound methodology. Uh, it will lead him any to knowledge. It will lead him into knowledge any of certainty. But why people any have differences any to this? Because they are using any this methodology wrongly. So they cannot any deny any the fact that the intellect any can lead any to knowledge. So this is basically any what any there, what any <coughs> what any he's saying. Even any for those any who reject, at, at the end of the day they still any use any the intellect. To come to their conclusion, so how can any they reject any the, the inability any to the intellect while they are using any their intellect to come to the conclusion any that they are that they are in? So that shows any that the intellect, what you call it, is one of the causes of knowledge. <coughs> so he said, فَإِنْزَامُ أَنَّهُ مُعَارَضَةٌ لِلْفَاسِدِ بِالْفَاسِدِ. So what they 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 did was any if they reject that. They say that, for example, the intellect does not have any the ability to uh, what you call it acquire uh, knowledge any of certainty, knowledge any of knowledge any of certainty. So earlier, and we mentioned there is a contradiction because they themselves any are using any that intellect to come to that conclusion, 
and at the same time they are contradicting and themselves and by rejecting that ability any of that intellect so alima mutaftazani and he mentioned they are they are using that rejection that rejection any which they to them and it is fasid fasid any something that is corrupt to them any it is something any that is corrupt and at the same time at, at the same time they brought, they brought any their, their 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 conclusion with their intellect which they themselves any in the first place uh look at it any as something that is corrupt so they are using any that same any intellect with the conclusion any that their intellect any cannot bring them to conclusions any of knowledge any base on certainty so he said that this is corruption that leads any to corruption the corruption any that leads any to corruption so again any basically and he's trying any to tell that they are wrong that the, the human any intellect any can bring about knowledge of certainty and it doesn't mean that people differ on the conclusion it doesn't mean any that the intellect does not have the ability it is just any default any lies any with the people who uses the intellect any wrongly and then and he goes on any to to, to say qulna imma an yu an yufida shay'an fala yakunu fasida aw la yufid fala yakunu mu'aradatan so he said any that the intellect what you call it it gives any benefit and it cannot any be considered any need to be uh, what you call it uh, corrupt or if any it doesn't give any benefit for there is no any contradiction but what is any important any is that it is one any of the cause that human beings any can attain can attain any knowledge so i will not any go much any on this uh, yani I, i i do not want any to to confuse any anyone uh, basically let me any summarize any basically any al imam tartazani he is just defending any the opinion of al imam nasafi who is saying any that the intellect any is one of the causes of knowledge but the the fact that there are some philosophers and who reject this some philosophers and he says that the intellect any is not any the causes of knowledge that al aql any is not the causes of knowledge that you cannot depend on your intellect to attain knowledge so al imam tartazani is saying any this is any a strange any statement how can you say that when you yourself and you use any your intellect to come to the conclusions any that you are you that 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 that, that you have so how can you reject any something and say that it cannot give you knowledge but yet any you are using it and you are claiming that you have any that knowledge uh, so that is any a contradiction so you are using any something that is corrupted which you you yourself and you said it is corrupted because intellect cannot give you knowledge but you are using what you are you are seeing it as a as 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 something that is corrupted to uh, as an evidence any to your claims to uh, as an evidence any to your claims and to your conclusion which you yourself any use that same intellect so it is corruption that leads any to your uh, to the to the any corruption so this basically this basically what, what is saying and and then after that any he mentioned that this shows any that no matter what any the intellect any gives any benefit that gives any people any knowledge and even any if people does not use any their intellect uh, correctly uh, there is no contradiction so it doesn't mean that when people have differences it doesn't mean that the int- it is the fault any of the intellect but it is the fault any of how people use any day the intellect so this is basically this is any basically any the summary so uh, in the first glance i did my see like something any that is very tough but actually it is it, this is any the main thing and he's, he's basically saying at, at the end of the day he's just saying any that the intellect brings you knowledge that you one of the ways any of atta- acquiring knowledge is by the intellect this basically this basically any the gist yani of what alima munasafi is saying alima tafsazani is just uh what you call it bringing in any some any of this some any of these arguments طيب and then any he goes on then this is any another uh, explanation another way i need to explain so, so he said fa in qila if it is said so maybe let me read any the english uh, yani those any who are attending any the class you are depending any on the english translation so let us any read any the english so he said as for the intellect it is a faculty any of the soul we read any the person is prepared any to acquire the various sciences and matters to be comprehended 
it is the intended meaning and by the saying the intellect is an innate property when the in, in, instruments and your sound knowledge of the necessary matters and you shall follow it's only no problem when you say that the intellect any is one of the causes any of knowledge and it depends any on the other senses uh, what you call it to process any that knowledge it has also already been said that the intellect is a substance these are the differences in the definition as what i mentioned by which any unseen matters by mediums and the maksusat matters perceive any through the senses through witnessing shahada then he said it is a cause of knowledge he clearly stated that due to the arguments which exist regarding it among the atheists and the sumania in all of the speculative any matters so speculative matters any is a translation any for nazari and nazari any as what i mentioned any knowledge any that requires any ponderance and some of the philosophers any in metaphysical any matters based on excessive different and conflicting points any of view they have differences any amongst any themselves uh, pertaining any to the conclusions any that arrive on uh, metaphysical any uh, issues any on issues any of uh, godly attributes any and so on the response is that is due to the corruption of their speculation so this is what basically i mentioned earlier it is because any of how any they use any their intellect so it is does not negate the fact that the sound speculation and from the intellect is capable of bringing about knowledge based on the fact that what you have mentioned is istidlal using any the speculation any of the intellect thus in that is the very thing which you have negated so they contradict any one another so how can any a person uh, negate uh, the ability any of the intellect to bring about knowledge when they themselves any are using any the intellect to come to the conclusions any that they are coming at if they claim that this is opposing the the corrupt and invalid with what is correct we say either it brings any about something and therefore it is not any corrupt or it does not bring about anything in which case it will not be uh, an uh, opposition aywa Then he mentioned fa in qila kaunu nadhari mufidan lil ilmi in kana daruriyan lam yaqa fihi khilaf kama fi qawlina al wahid nisf al isnain wa in kana nadhariyan lazima isbat al nadhari bin nadhari wa innahu daw so this is again like a q and a format by al-imam taftazani so again this is a summary of the questions that may arise uh, from the things any that he uh, explained so he said that if it is said the fact that speculation brings about knowledge if it is daruri there is no argument regarding that like in our statement one is half any of two if it is nadari then it necessitates any the, the affirmation of speculation with speculation and that is that is any doubt so this is any a question any a person any as though any a person any is asking so he said that if uh, what you call it uh, yani this uh, nadar that using our intellect yani to to ponder any yani, upon uh, upon any yani, things that can bring that that it can bring any to knowledge uh, if this kind any of knowledge is daruri if it is knowledge any based any on necessary he said certainly there will be there will be no differences so again he's he's referring any to the to the to the, to the previous thing because the previous any uh, what you call it uh, he mentioned any then some people any have some people rejected that the intellect any that people can acquire knowledge any through the intellect because any of the differences any of the atheists and the so many of the philosophers any which he mentioned any asumania which they reject any the notion that the intellect any can bring any about can bring about knowledge another question any is the, that that they ask is that if any it can bring any about any knowledge and if that any knowledge any can be knowledge any of necessary meaning the intellect any can bring about necessary knowledge then there will not any be differences there will not be differences just like any day there is no differences one is half of two and this is knowledge any that is based any on daruri and and if the, if the knowledge any is nadari if the knowledge any is nadari yani from the intellect uh, lazima isbatu nadar bin nadar wa innahu daw so it is just like any saying that we are speculating something through speculation so this is the question then any he answered he said qulna ad-daruri qad yaqa fihi khilaf he said it doesn't mean any that knowledge any that is acquired by daruri uh, by by necessary uh, there is uh, there is no differences but there is differences 
there can be differences and even and even when comes any to when comes to necessary knowledge so he gave any the example imma li'inan like some people and for example they just any reject for example we we gave any the the famous any example any we believe for example we say that this glass any is this glass is in existence this glass in is, is in existence this is knowledge that is daruri but there are people who reject this why li'inadin li'inad and this is any one of the schools any of sufusaiya there are people any who negate even realities the things any that they see in front of their eyes they negate them and they can even any negate any one any his half any of two they say this is any something any that uh, what you call it is not any necessarily necessarily true so al imam tafzani any mention that even any for another for daruri people can reject but does that does that does that mean that it is not correct does that mean that whenever you have differences when comes any to certain things that it means any it is not true no the truth any is still any the truth but the problem any is the perception in your people and there are many reasons any for that so one of it any he said imma li inadin aw li qusurin fil idrak so either any this particular person any is uh what you call it just for the sake any of rejection and he doesn't want any to believe this point number one number two is li qusurin fil idrak because he doesn't have the ability any to understand it he doesn't have the ability any for to to understand any for example any a blind person if you tell him any for example there is any a glass in front of him he might not believe he might not believe he might say there is no there is no there is no glass in front of him but now any there is a it, it is not about whether there is a glass or there is not a glass but what you call it uh, this person any does not have the ability to come to a certainty because any he is blind so the fault any lies any in his disability disability any to use yani his uh, senses any to come any to that knowledge any of of certainty then any he mentioned fa innal aqla mutafawita because the intellect of human beings they differ any from one person any to another person bi hasabil fitra and this goes back any to what you call it our uh, biological uh, what you call it uh, 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 our, our, our bi- biological any differences bi- there are some people any for example they are blessed any with a high level of intellectual any capacity that they can understand any many things there are some people any who doesn't have that speciality so the intellect any of uh, people any they differ any from one person any to to another person and likewise any wal istidlal wal istidlal min al athar and to what you call it to use any istidlal any to 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 to, to experiment any something any to come any to conclusions also any we have differences any on the abilities any of people wa shahadatu min al akhbar and likewise any in terms any of witnessing uh, in terms any of witnessing reports and determining any the truth any of reports that come to us people any have differences any in understanding and in knowing whether this is true or this is false and then any one nazari qad yasbutu bi nazarin makhsus la yu'abbar anhu bin nazar and when comes any to speculative knowledge yani it depends any on how any that person any speculates it depends any on how any that person any speculates kama yuqalu qawluna al alam mutaghayyir so he gave any the example he gave any the example of knowledge that is nazari that the universe any changes wa kullu mutaghayyirin hadith and everything any that change and is contingent yufidu al ilma bi hudus al alam bi darura that it brings any about any the conclusion any that is necessary what is any the conclusion that the universe any is contingent so although any this the first any premises any another are based any on speculation uh, that we look any at the universe the universe any is changing and and we have understood that everything any that change any is contingent then any we come any to the conclusion and this is knowledge any that is necessary so i say wa laysa zalika li khususiyati hadha hadha an-nazar bal li kawnihi sahihan makrunan bi shara'itihi so even though yani this ponderance any is part any of speculation but it brings any about any the truth it brings any about the truth even though it is based any on 
nothari, but knowledge any that is nothari can lead to doguri. Can lead any to, can lead any to doguri. How does it lead any to, to doguri and certainty when we use uh, what you call it through the right methodology? That when you use any our intellect and with the right any methodology, then it will bring about knowledge any of certainty. فَيَكُونُ كُلُّ نَظَرِيٌّ صَحِيهٌ مَكْرُونٌ بِشَرَائِتِهِ مُفِيدًا لِلْعِلْمِ That this, any, this methodology and it will always any, bring about knowledge any, that is beneficial بِشَرَائِتِهِ But of course any, with, with the condition. And then he mentioned وَفِي تَحْقِيقِ هَذَا الْمَنْعِ زِيَادَةٌ تَفْسِيلٍ زِيَادَةٌ تَفْسِيلٍ لَا يَلِيقُ بِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ So he said any, this notion any, has to be explained any, more and because any, this book any, is just a summary so he said that it is not appropriate for me to uh, lengthen uh, these arguments any more than what is mentioned. So let us any read any the English any translation any before we stop for today. So he said we say there is an argument regarding the dogogi necessary knowledge as well, either to obstinacy or due to deficiency in comprehension because the intellect is of different stages, proportionate any to the fitrah according to the ittifaq, yani the agreement any of the thinkers. This is arrived any at true istidlal any from the athar and testification from the reports. So this is the first part as what I mentioned. Uh, the differences any amongst uh, people uh, ability, intellectual any capacity to understand any things. So speculative any knowledge can be affirmed with specific speculation which is not termed speculation any like how any it is said our statement the world changes and everything that changes is hardest any contingent that is by necessity brings about knowledge of the fact that the world any came into existence. And that is not because of a speciality of this speculation, but rather because of it being sahih. That this uh, argument any, is correct and it brings any about any to what you call it, the, the truth. So to use, to use any this methodology of uh, ponderance, of uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the right way of using any our intellect, this is where the author is speaking any about and it can bring it can bring any to sound knowledge. Thus, every sound speculative knowledge that is attached to its conditions can bring about knowledge. So this is basically saying, at the end of the day, he's saying any that intellect any brings any about knowledge. Uh, whether we are speaking about knowledge that is doguri or knowledge any that is nadari, it brings any about it brings any about any knowledge if we use the right any methodology in using any then in using any that intellect. In the verification of this prohibition, there is a need for additional details which is not set suitable for this kitab. And then and he mentioned, وَمَا سَبَتَ مِنْهُ أَيْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ سَابِبِ الْعَقْلِ بِالْبَدِيهَا InshaAllah, yani, we will continue uh, in, our, in our next any lesson, yani, inshaAllah. Uh, and uh, so I mentioned it to those any, in the WhatsApp group. Uh, we will see how, inshaAllah, if uh, a lot of you any, find any, some of this any, uh, difficult. Uh, inshallah, and we will consider. I will consider and just, just concentrate any on the mutton of uh, of Nasafiya. And we will see how it is, inshallah. Ta'ala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alamin. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. Sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alamin.